Now that we're into that real lesson mode stuff, I bet you can't wait to get your hands on those keys, but pump the brakes for a sec because step one is listen mode and it's exactly what it sounds like. Indeed, the whole point of this stage of the lesson process is to take a step back and listen very closely to familiarize yourself with the piece you're about to learn. With our current example, it's a bit odd to think that someone would need to refresh their memory on Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but again, if you're new to piano and you're not up to date on the traditional repertoire, never underestimate the value of some focused listening to help you get the lay of the land. If you've already worked on a song in easy mode, you might not need to spend that much time here, but if this is your starting point, don't take step one for granted. Even if you've heard a song somewhere else before, you may not have heard the particular arrangement of it that was chosen for the CTX song library. So, just to be safe, I highly recommend listening through at least a handful of times to make sure you know exactly what you're getting into. Now, at first glance, it might seem a bit redundant to give listening its own step when you can always just play songs normally outside of lesson mode, but one thing that makes the listen step unique is the way it handles part isolation. Normally, isolating the left or right hand part for practice will cause that part to be muted during song playback, with the corresponding notes for that part showing up on the display. On the other hand, when you play a song during the listen step, you will always hear the sound of both parts. Switching between the left, right, and both hand practice modes will only determine which notes appear on the display. For example, I'll isolate the left hand part using the part select button, and then I'll start listen playback using the listen button. As you'll notice, we'll still hear the sound of both parts, but on the display, we'll only see the notes for the left hand chord part. We're going to get a bit more involved with step two, which is watch, and as you would expect, your goal is to watch the display carefully and follow along on the keys as best as you can. Just like easy mode, the song will stop and wait for you to play a note if you fall behind, but this time you actually do have to press the correct key to advance the song. So now I'll switch over to right hand practice mode and start watch playback using the watch button. So I'll pause really quickly here. Notice that I did fall behind a bit, but like I said, it stopped and waited for me. I'm going to unpause, and for the sake of example, I'll hesitate even more, and you'll notice that two things will happen. First, the keyboard will sound the note that I hesitated on, that way I know what I should have played, and secondly, a helpful robot voice will chime in and tell me what finger I should have used to press that key. The manual refers to these features as the note guide and the voice fingering guide respectively, and as we'll discuss later, you can disable either or both of them if that's what you'd prefer. Once you reach the end of the song, your performance will be evaluated based on two factors. One is the number of incorrect key presses during lesson playback, and two is how often you fell behind the beat. If you only missed a few notes and you kept up with the song well enough, the display will show bravo to indicate a passing grade. Again, means you need to put in some more practice before moving on to the next step. The third and final step is remember, and it embodies the truest test of your keyboard mastery. In this step, you must play through the song entirely from memory, as the keyboard display will no longer indicate the next note to be played. Just like in step two, if you fall behind, it will stop and wait for you, and if you hesitate for long enough, the note display and fingering guide will remind you what to play. However, as you can see, the delay between a missed note and the reminders coming to the rescue is substantially longer than it is in step two, so it only bails you out if you're really struggling to remember the music. Four. Three. Three. Two. Like in step two, your performance will be graded with either bravo or again at the end of the song, but the scoring is much less lenient in step three, so don't be discouraged if you have a hard time getting a passing grade. 